Hello and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida, where we make hard candy. This is Greg, and today's video is actually going to be a bit of a commemorative video. A friend of mine, Miss Lillian, passed away a few weeks ago. She was an old school southern lady, which is why she was always referred to as Miss. She was born in 1907, and she died in August of 2018. I'll wait a few moments so you can do the math there. Food is always an important part of the southern funeral tradition, and I decided to make some candy and cherry flavor, which I knew she liked, and I was able to put her name and her age in it, Miss Lillian 111. Yep, she was 111 years old when she passed away. Wikipedia tracks the oldest people they can document on their website, and while I know there are more people that were probably older than her, on this list at the time she died, she was number 74 in the world. So out of 7 billion, that's not too bad. They figure there's about 100 to 150 people at any time alive who are older than 110 years old. And Miss Lillian, who lived just a block and a half from me, was one of them. And knowing Miss Lillian, I think she would have been amused that this was her 111st birthday, the same age as Bilbo Baggins at the beginning of Lord of the Rings. She was an extraordinarily cool lady, and her name actually lent itself to candy. We can only make so many shapes in a piece of candy before we run out of time and the candy cools off. But we can duplicate shapes we've already made. And her name is built for this. There are three L's, two S's, six I's, or ones, they do double duty, and then just an M, an A, and an N. That means I'm really only making six letters here and not 14. It was raining the day I had to make this candy, and sometimes, no matter how sticky the sugar is, you gotta make it work. Let me cut the candy into its component colors and tell you about Miss Lillian. When Miss Lillian was nine, she learned how to drive in a Model T Ford. And I got this great footage of Miss Lillian sitting in a 1916 Model T, as shortly after her 100th and first birthday. You see, when she turned 101, she had to renew her driver's license. And in Florida, over a certain age, you have to take the full driver's test, the visual, the written, and even the driving component of it. And she passed. She told me several days later she was so happy, she tested out with 2020 vision. And this made her not only America's oldest driver to get a driver's license, but the longest continuous driver in the United States. Because at 101, she'd been driving for 92 years. It's flowing with traffic. She's keeping up, you know, she's not driving too slowly and holding people up and creating a hazard like that. She signals to make all her turns. I mean, who does that these days? I could ride with her anytime. And do you think you'll keep driving as long as you can? Well, I just renewed my driver's license three months ago for four years. On this Inside Edition report, she was asked if she was a speeder or a slow driver. A speeder, at many years. But now, I'm very careful. And how many speeding tickets had she gotten in her lifetime? Maybe two, maybe. I talked with Seth out of most of them. I first met Miss Lillian around 2007. My daughter was about three, and we were looking for a bigger house in a neighborhood that we liked. I had some friends that already lived in the neighborhood, and they knew Miss Lillian was looking to sell. So we went over and looked at her house. It was a nice house on a big piece of land right near the schools, right where we wanted, and she made us an offer. She said, pay me now, I'll give you a discount, but let me live here the rest of my life, and then you can have it at a deal. I remember looking at my wife as we walked away from the house and said, she'll outlive us. This is a sucker's bet. And you know what? It was. My daughter would have been in high school before we had gotten the house. I start cheating right away with the letter L. I make a single L, I pull it out, I cut it into thirds, and now I have three. I next make the eyes, and I add an I immediately to connect the L with the I to make L-I-L-L -L -L for the beginning of Lillian. Another I goes on the other side and I have L-I-L-L-I. -L -L -I. And then all I have left is to cut three I's to make the second row. I put the first row aside until I need it. So now that the three I's are done, I'm going to make the A in Lillian. For her 100th birthday, she hosted an amazing party. It was a lot of fun, and she danced the entire evening, way into the wee hours of the morning. I feel lucky I got the one dance I got with her. Her dance card was full. And now it's time to make the two S's in Miss. Miss. 
We make the M and then the N, and all that's left is to assemble it all. The last time I could remember spending any time with her was at her 102nd birthday party. Our neighborhood association threw it for her. I ended up buying a house in the neighborhood, but not hers. And she was wearing this gold ring that was very pretty. It had a big diamond in the center and a cluster of diamonds around it, little ones. And I complimented her on it. And she said if she'd gotten it from a gentleman admirer. She th said things like that a lot. And then she leaned over and whispered to me and she said, you know the best part about this ring? It really leaves a mark. Now we put the large log of candy into rods and we cut them into individual bite-sized pieces on our little sugar anvil. Before I leave you with a final bit of advice from Miss Lillian, let me thank you for watching this video. You can always get our candy on our website, which is www.pd.net. You can also visit us in person in Tallahassee, Florida, or right off I-10 in Tallahassee on Thomasville Road or near Thomasville Road. And of course, you should follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can also just click that little bell, ring the bell, and you'll be notified whenever we come up with a new video. Please subscribe to us here on YouTube. Thank you for watching. I didn't dream I'd live to be 80, much less 100 years old, so I just spent my money and had a good time. And I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good time as much as I did in making it and remembering my friend. Thank you for letting me share my memories of Miss Lillian with you, and I like to look back in history, but people like Miss Lillian remind me that history is closer than it seems most of the time, and the future is sometimes farther away. Thank you for watching.